In 1996, over the skies above Panama City, Florida, a battle of epic proportions unfolded. Fighter aircraft boomed across the horizon at breakneck speeds. Battle was so intense and bullets and missiles so numerous that the skies turned dark. The battle lasted for days until one team, one man remained. I'm talking about the biannual William Tell Aerial Gunnery Competition, the real Top Gun competition. And the pilot, the winner of the competition in 1996, and the man awarded the title of Top Gun, pitted against America's finest, was not Tom Cruise, nor even an American. In 1996, the winner was a Canadian, now a Canadian expat living in Australia, Captain Stephen Nierlich of the Royal Canadian Air Force. This is the story of Captain Stephen Bunt Nierlich. Admittedly, we've had to make up some of the details, but because of national security secrets, not because we were lazy. But most of the story is 100% true. Steve Nierlich grew up in the quaint village of Sunderland, Ontario, in beautiful Brock Township, about 100 kilometers north of Toronto. Sunderland was idyllic, with most kids frolicking in the open fields, but not for little Steve. His vision for his future was up. His eyes were always looking up to the skies. He would see planes flying high above him, and he would wonder what it would feel like to soar above the clouds. Entering Brock High School at the age of 15, the very first day Steve took notice of the school motto, Altiora Peto, I seek to go higher, and he took it to heart. He was going to become a pilot, and a damn good one. In 1986, at the age of 19, Steve watched Maverick take to the skies in the movie Top Gun. Feel the need, the need for speed. Like millions of others around the world, this further stirred his spirit. Being both a passionately proud Canadian and at the same time intensely competitive, Steve knew where his destiny lay. He was going to become a fighter pilot and take on the US to win Top Gun. Immediately after exiting high school, Steve entered the Royal Military College of Canada. Always with his eyes on the goal, he graduated with a Bachelor of Engineering in 1990 at near the top of his class. There was only one path, and that led to joining the Air Force after graduation. Subsequently, getting shipped to Cold Lake, Alberta to begin training and eventually obtaining his dream of becoming an Air Force fighter pilot. While there, Steve made a name for himself as one of the best baseball players in the Air Force, earning him the call sign, Bunt. His frequent talk about beating US pilots at a Top Gun competition eventually made it to the ears of the organizers of the William Tell Aerial Gunnery Competition. Never to shy away from competition, in October of 1996, Steve and his team were invited to compete for the coveted Top Gun. They're called orders. The six day event competition included live fire exercises using towed banner targets for gun engagements and obsolete fighters converted into unmanned target drones for air to air missile engagements. At the end of the final week, the team from Canada, led by Captain Steve Bunt Nierlich, flying the Canadian FC 18 Hornet, was named clear winners with the crew awarded the title Top Unit and Captain Yurik awarded the coveted Top Gun. He had reached his goal. A distinguished career with the Royal Canadian Air Force saw Captain Yurik travel around the world. And much like Maverick in 2006, he decided that teaching his craft was the next logical step. And he was offered a position with Top Aces, the Canadian Aircraft Fighter Training Company located in Montreal. He moved to Australia in 2017 to head up a training program for the Royal Australian Air Force using the Dornier Alpha Jet in Williamtown, New South Wales. This probably goes without saying, but Canadians everywhere are proud of your accomplishments, Captain. I also want to recognize that this was actually not the first time that a Canadian team had done well at the William Tell. In 1972, Canadian pilots Captain Lowell Butters and Captain Douglas Danko were similarly awarded the title of Top Gun. And this is where I bring out the equivalent to the coffee shop tip jar. As simple as they seem, these videos actually take a lot of time. 
All that I ask is that you do two things, like this video and subscribe. This helps us a great deal and we want to produce more of this for you. Thanks for watching. Until next time.